Hey guys, Sebastian here. So, we did the time warp, and we fell backwards an hour, and I got off of work four hours ago, because I got off work at 4.30, because we technically still worked ten hours, it just seemed like we got out early, because of the whole falling back an hour thing. So I got to come home in the pitch darkness of night, and it was wonderful. And I paid my rent today, and I got to see my grandma for a little bit, and she gave me this sweater, and she gave us another crock pot, and she gave us some bowls, and Matt's finally going to be able to have Chinese food. Tell them how excited you are, Matt. A little rain and fire from the fucking sky. Yep, if you can hear, if you can hear what he said, that's... The thing that is going to happen, I guess. Um, what else to talk about? Not really anything. Work was super duper slow today. There was, um, let's see, there was Jeff, there was Malik, there was me, there was Tasha, there was LQ. I think that was it for back in ISS. Oh, and Laura. And... Malik and I were on tickets, and there was only one ticket the whole entire night, and it was the same ticket, it just sat there because it wasn't one that we could find, and we couldn't touch it. So it just sat there all night, and we didn't really have anything else pop up. It was, we had one ticket at one point in time that just needed pictures, so I took the pictures, and then there was another ticket later on that needed to get received, and then we were back to one ticket again, and that's how it was all night. It was so slow, and I don't know why they didn't let the overtime people go home, but they didn't. So, that's a good time, but I don't have overtime tomorrow, so I am a lucky duck, and I get to stay home and sleep, and by tomorrow I mean later today because it is Sunday. Tomorrow is Monday, and tomorrow my mom is coming to visit, so maybe I will get to have her in a video with me or something, I'm not sure. Also, you probably are noticing the stuff that I have on my fingers. Um, 30 Seconds to Mars. Love that band. Absolutely, positively love them. I'm getting a tattoo on my wrist to do with them, and I just draw these on my hand uh, frequently, but I have to do some research into if it's even worth getting them actually tattooed onto my fingers, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, stuff and things, and I actually did a lot of concept drawing of tattoos today that I want, and concept list making of tattoos that I want, because that's how slow it was at work. And I'm finally starting to get tired. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not though, since it's, what time is it now? Almost 9 o'clock. It's 8.30. Yeah. <laughs> I know the thing that disappoints me that it holds this back by an hour. Matt's upset about the Chinese food, because it's, since it's Sunday, the Chinese food place doesn't open until 11, and since it's only 8.30 instead of what we thought was 9.30, because the clock on our microwave doesn't change automatically, um, so he thought it was 9.30, and he was like, woo, it's almost time, but now it's not almost time. You know what's crazy? Looking at this, it's a like cold Monday, but really... Fucking Chinese stores don't close. Like Sunday is that one day they just so happen to close earlier. And that's it. Sunday they seem like they open later instead of close earlier. They do, but in this case, this one opens up all throughout the week to the fucking same exact time. It's Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, Sunday they just close an hour earlier. Like that's the. And they open. And then they stay closed on fucking Monday. Well, what's the point of this? And is this place closed? Is that closed? Yes. Mm -hmm. But
but there's it, there's nowhere really to park, so I mean we could walk there if we wanted to. We could walk there. Yeah, cause it's on Damon and Thirty Fifth, and I know Damon's close, and I know Thirty Fifth is close. But when my grandma was talking about it, she said that um, parking for that place isn't very good because of it being on the corner. Let's go. We're not going right now. I'm probably going to take a nap. That way I can kill some time that way. And I promise I'll actually set an alarm so, like, the nap won't turn into me being dead. In a coma? Yeah. Which is what me going to sleep after a week of work usually turns into. It usually turns into me be, pr pr practicing to be dead. I'm pretty sure I've scared you at least once or twice because you thought I had died. Only twice. Because I just, I disappeared. I, Sundays didn't exist for me for at least two weeks of work. I had to start making up a fucking thing in my head too. Like, how, do we... how do I explain how he died? I was just like, they're not going to believe the fuck. And why am I not dead if he's dead? <laughs> You know, it's crazy, like, if I died here, and you gave me the most ridiculous explanation, like, so this fucking alien kicked the door and some shit, they'd be like, oh, So the right. cats ate him. Pretty much. But then if it was the other way around, I'd go, well... The this, cats ate him. This fucking spirit Indian jumped out of the fucking flag there and murdered him in his sleep. And I just was like, dude, what the fuck? And he just turned into thunder. They'd be like, alright, get him out of here. Get him the fuck out. He's talking about the Blackhawks. By the way, the Blackhawks play tonight. They played last night against the... Oh my gosh. I just had it. The Stars. They played against the Stars last night, and they won 3-2. to two. And before that, so... Fuck. Friday. Friday night, they played. I don't remember who they played off the top of my head, but they won 4-0. to zero. They have only lost two games. They're the first in the Central Division right now. And I know the Cubbies are all excited because they just won after, you know, not ever winning in 108 years. And congrats on you guys. That's making history. But wouldn't it be great if Chicago could take home two championships in one year? So let's root on the Hawks as well since it's their time to shine. Um... They won in 2015. Yeah, I know, but that's like, it, shh. I just said last year. I was like, maybe it wouldn't last year. Guess shall I know that, so. Because the Hawks are awesome. No, I know, I'm just sure, and I'll look and see yeah. if they won. 2013, 2015. And then that sickening old third game there. Yeah. My babies are good. But yeah, so root on the Hawks. Woo! Root for the Flyers. I don't get that's supposed to be a show music of service. Well, you must be a girl with shoes like that. She said, you know me well. Chelsea Dagger, it's the Black Hawks song. They have a song? Hell yeah, they do. Chelsea, Chelsea, I'm here. The city is full. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna let you guys go since you just had that weird thing that I was doing. Plus, my computer is about to die. It's only at 7% because I don't use this computer very much anymore, so I haven't been charging it regularly like I used to. So, yeah. Before my computer goes to an early grave, I will let you guys go. Make sure that you cheer on the Blackhawks tonight. Their game is, I think, at... It's either 6 or 7. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I know it's either 6 or 7 if you want to watch it. Um, or, you know, go look at the score online or whatever. Um, 
yeah, that's all I got. So stay safe out there. I'll see you tomorrow. And tomorrow's a day off for me, so, you know, who knows when I'll actually be posting, but I'll try to keep to that I'll be posting in the early morning. Hopefully that'll work out. Not sure. Also, um, I don't have a definite on if we're doing a live stream today um, on Malik's channel. Um, if I find out later today, I will post it on Facebook and Twitter so you guys know. Um, Corey might be coming over later still, so if he comes over, I'll make a video with him for you guys. Um, otherwise, we will be doing Nerd Couch next week on Sunday if everything goes as planned and I don't have overtime. If I have overtime, you guys will know because I'll talk about it in the daily blog, uh, the daily vlog before Sunday. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. So stay safe out there. Have fun. Cheer on the Blackhawks. Don't go too crazy out there, you Cubby fans. Uh, my friend Scott from work is all red in the face because he was at um, whatever rally and he Don't got him in the face? no, he got sunburned. Sorry, I missed a little bit. Anyway, I gotta go. I'll see you guys. Bye.